Hey guys, I'm GameSketch. Welcome back when we last left off. Why am I even saying that? Uh, we beat Pipistrello's Cave, I believe? Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do Industrial Castle this episode. Hopefully without losing, uh, too many potions. I mean, whatever. If I do, then it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm trying to go for not using potions. Okay, whatever. So, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, ow. Crap. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is my defense, I believe, is the only stat I don't have completely up. So, I'm going to be taking, like, stupid high damage from all these guys. But that's okay. I mean, as long as I can just stay in the air and juggle them all, should be okay. Okay, so, what should I talk about? Oh yeah, I was trying to get an Eevee today in Black and White 2. In, um, Trophy, or, no, not Trophy Garden, that was diamond and pearl or something like that um it was like castelia garden yeah oh my gosh i still can't get it Ugh, i still can't find that stupid eevee it takes freaking forever like it took me a while to find ryolu but eventually i found three of them and i was like okay whatever but eevee uh, i swear it's like one percent chance of finding it like seriously i've been searching for like two hours and i can't find okay whatever uh, i'm just gonna get off that subject uh, i think these guys are dead yep they are fruit. Just, uh, float over all this. Move across these, and ow. Get hit by that thing twice. Okay, come on. Nice. Okay, I don't want to get hit by this, because I remember what happened, uh, I can't remember what run it was, but I remember not having too much defense on it, on insane mode, and I was just getting wrecked by those electric fields. Like, seriously, wrecked. Like, one touch, like, killed me instantly, I think. No, that was really bad. Okay. But, uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and juggle these guys. Um, oh, wow. Nice bomb throw, man. You gotta be careful of that guy. Oh, man. I'm really nervous get, about getting hit by that bomb. Seriously. Critical hitting bomb. That would be scary. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Got them all. Sweet. Oh, so much XP. Nope, oh, you get back here. Oh, wait, they weren't all dead? Why is my XP not going up anymore? Weird. Okay, whatever. Well, I got a free uh, health boost. That's nice. Hmm. So, what else should I talk about? I mean, oh, uh, jeez. I don't know what else to talk about. Uh, Habitat for Humanity is fun. I'm going back this weekend, even though my project is over. Like, uh, the people there are really freaking nice. I would definitely go back. Like, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I would make it my uh, permanent occupation, but volunteering is fun. Hmm. Ooh, get out of here. Uh, you're the bomb thrower. Oh, by the way, that's a nice little tip I should share. Until the bomb thrower dies, I believe there's only one bomb thrower on the field at once. Like, if you can get him up in the juggle, then you should have no problem juggling these guys. It's the same with all the uh, Conehead Groom levels, like the Cyclops Cave and the Cyclops Fortress and all that. Or maybe not Cyclops Cave. And uh, since you can't uh, juggle the people in Fortress, um, generally just get them in an XXXYY combo and they won't ever be able to throw bombs at you because you can just spam that back and forth. Especially if you're a... Uh, mm, I'm sorry. Ugh. Especially if you're Blue Knight, you can just freeze them in place with the XXXY combo. Yep. Uh, I don't know, that guy's uh, magic thing like that wasn't going away, so I thought he was still alive. I guess not. Okay. Sweet. So I heard this guy from Trickmeister is weak to fire? Hmm. I think he's taking 20 damage from, yeah, residual fire damage. That's nice. I guess he is really weak to fire. Like, really weak. Ooh, that's nice. Like it. Give me that chicken. Okay, why do I still have this burly bear with me? Uh, I should really have a more tactical pet like Piggy. But, you know, that's okay. I mean, it's not like this level is too hard anymore. Like, as long as you know the uh, combos and all that, it's really not that hard. Ooh, block. Nope. Sweet. There. Yeah, right now I'm just focusing on taking that brood out because I know he's probably gonna one shot me if he gets a hold of me. Block all that like a freaking boss. Not really, but whatever. <laughs> oh, man. oh man. So, uh, I know I didn't say this at the beginning of the episode because I've been trying to stop saying it. 
Like, I don't know, it's just, just really redundant if I say I recorded something on the same day as a different recording. But I'm recording this directly after the Haddington Run Part 4, I believe. Whatever one went up before this episode. Okay, nice, a banana. That should protect me from one more bomb, then I got a potion. Or saw blade. Yeah, saw blades are bad. Okay. Now, that's something I don't really understand about the big shot from the alien hominid. Why does it only make the enemies that are, like, um, like, nearby to your shot, like, area of effect? Like, the ones that get hit by the area of effect go flying, but the ones that get hit by the actual shot just stay stationary. It's just kind of weird, I don't know why. But, I mean, the uh, fact that it just makes everything go flying is pretty nice anyways. It's got a really nice blast radius, so I'm not complaining too bad. Okay. Let's kill this thing. Nice. Yeah, it's okay if I hit the fire like that. As long as that hand's not after me at the same time I'm trying to do this. Oop. Like, that's crap. Yeah, because that hand can trap you between the fire and the hand itself. It's a very, very annoying experience. In fact, it's a glitch, and it will kill you instantly. Not instantly, but you can't escape it, and it'll die. Sweet, dodge that. Okay. Get up right up against this thing. And I got a little bit of damage on it. And I may as well potion. I mean, I've got five of them. Why not? Nope, nope, nope. No glitches. No glitches. Get out of here. Yeah, if the hand's up and you're on insane mode, unless you've got something like saw blades to keep them away for a while, um, I recommend just not even bothering with uh, trying to destroy these while the hand is up. Just like, kind of ignore the hand for a bit and uh, just aim. I mean, ignore the little uh, electric things in the ground and just go for the hand to keep it, that hand away from you. Handed? Okay, whatever. Yeah, just. Ignore the electric things in the ground unless you've got like saw blades or something, or even vines. And uh, just go for the hand so it doesn't hurt you. Oh man, I'm sorry, I'm just really getting tired. My sleep schedule has been really wacky lately. Okay. I'm supposed to be asleep by now because uh, I've been just getting to sleep, uh, sleep so early lately. It's nice. I'm not going to sleep at midnight anymore. Although, it's kind of nice being able to stay up so late. I mean, I can already, it's just like, I don't know, it's like, I don't like staying up that late because then I'm like really tired and I can't focus, but then again, if I go to sleep this early, then I feel groggy in the very early morning and the very er uh, late evening, and then I can't function at all at night, it's like, ugh, there we go, yeah, what else can I talk about, how about the fact that I can't dream? Or I don't remember any of my dreams. Like once every like maybe like this is probably an overstatement too on how often I remember my dreams. Um, like I'd say once every two months I can remember a dream, but otherwise I always forget them. I don't know why. It's just always how it's been. It kind of sucks. I wish I could remember my dreams more often, but I mean, I just can't. By the way, this should be friggin' weak to fire. It's steel type. God. Ugh. Oh well. Steel and electric. It's a magnemite. Totally weak. Ugh. I need ground type. Ugh. Take this guy out fast. Earthquake, man. Wouldn't hit the hand or the thing up here, but man, it would probably take all these things out in like one shot. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, steel and electric type. Oh my god. That's a really good typing, though. I mean, in all actuality has more resistances than any other uh, typing currently in the game. I mean, I don't know about that new type coming out. Like, I'm not going to say what it is because I might be wrong. Like, honestly, I don't really believe it myself. Like, evidently it's been officially announced, quote-unquote, but the type just doesn't sound real to me. So, I'm just going to wait until the game comes out to, like, confirm or deny anything. Because, you know, once the game comes out, it's like, you know... Yeah, it is, or it isn't. Like, whoop, I don't know. 
But uh, one thing I did here was Mawile was getting a subtype of that new type, and that would be pretty cool. It would become a functional Pokemon, <laughs> uh, rather than something that nobody likes and nobody ever uses. But, uh, I mean, I guess some people like it, but, I mean, competitively, it's not good at all. Hmm. Just trying to... Ah, man, I'm failing so much. Okay. Jeez, I really gotta get back to my DS and try to... What time is it? Yeah, I guess I'll end it right after this. I mean, I'm sorry for a slightly shorter episode, but I mean, I guess my minimum now is 10 minutes. That's just how it's going to be. Unless there's like an emergency ending or something, like I have to stop recording for some reason. Like, if I find out somebody's been in a car accident in my close family or relatives or friends, then yeah, I'm going to stop the recording and it's going to be a short recording. Sorry. But, uh, ow. Oh man, it's so deadly. Jeez. Okay. I'm sorry. I really should just skip to the end by now. Like, this is probably the most tedious part of the entire... Yeah, taking down this thing. Like, the hand is alright because you can hit it with attacks because it's coming directly at you, but this is, like, moving constantly up and down. It's, like, strafing. It's kind of annoying. So, yeah, I'll see you when it's done. Goodbye. Werp, we've seen this cutscene so many times. Yep. I'm not even gonna bother killing him. I mean, I don't really do that anymore. I mean, shh, I don't know. I think he's dead enough for one lifetime, so. Consider that a warning. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't even know what I was trying to imitate there. It was like a mix of Batman from The Dark Knight, and. I don't even know what. I don't think he's ever said that line. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I was quoting. It sounded cool, though. I guess. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, that's it for that episode. I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, nice experience. I'm gonna level up defense a little bit, because it's all that's left to level up. I wish you could, like, go past the max in stats and actually have, like, variety. Like, imagine somebody that had, like, all of these stat points into magic. Just overflowing into magic. Oh my god. Overpowered as crap, man. That would be beautiful. Okay. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.